Hello and welcome to our seminar, The Future of Robotic Systems in Distribution and E-Commerce. I'm Stephen Hogg, the Applications Engineering Manager at Robotics, and I'm joined by our Sales Manager, Matt Kohler. Today we are reviewing emerging technologies and trends that affect supply chains and the people who run them. Based on the latest post-pandemic market research study, the estimated global warehouse automation market will reach $30 billion by 2026, at a compounded annual growth rate of 14%. So what are the key drivers of the warehouse automation market? Order fulfillment in e-commerce is the biggest factor driving the adoption of warehouse automation technologies. This coupled with high warehouse rents, a shortage of skilled workers, and increasing labor costs are driving even more need. As you can see, many of these technologies such as ASRS or depalletizing robots will be a key factor in the future. So why are robots great? Robots allow the DC to be more adaptable to customer and business changes. Most of these robots have a 100,000 hour mean time between failure, which provides a high reliability and consistent workforce for warehouses. They are multifunctional and allow for various cell design footprints to provide flexibility in the design process. Robotics allow warehouses to increase throughputs while maintaining social distancing requirements and best safety practices. In the next six years, it's anticipated that the robotics market will double from 24 billion to 53 billion, which is a 14% compounded annual growth. So over the past 10 years, the e-commerce market as a percentage of retail sales has grown 11%. In a short period of eight weeks during the pandemic, it grew 9%. Due to the hyper growth in e-commerce, companies are turning to micro fulfillment concepts to solve their logistics and supply chain needs. In the future, robotics can have a huge presence in micro fulfillment centers. They can provide a consistent workforce and provide flexibility that manual processes cannot. Traditional goods-to-person technologies are now transitioning to goods-to-robot workstations to ensure companies are achieving their KPIs. These work cells allow companies to reduce the cost per unit shipped while maintaining a high system OEE. Robot systems improve the availability, performance, and quality, which directly contribute to the OEE of the system. The flexibility of the high-density storage units allow these units to be put into brownfields or greenfields. They provide flexibility to companies to be able to integrate robotics or serve directly to customers as picking ports and pickup and return centers for their customers' needs. Now we would like to highlight some emerging technologies that will continue to evolve in the future. Fluid trailer automation, robotic buffering systems, depalletizing, goods to person technologies, each picking, vision and artificial intelligence. I would now like to turn it over to Matt Kohler, who will cover these emerging technologies in further detail. Thank you, Stephen. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the technologies that Stephen previously mentioned. Fluid trailer automation is one solution that customers are increasingly asking us for. That includes unloading product out of a trailer, receiving and sortation of that product, and ultimately palletization of the product. Conversely, on the outbound side, it involves depalletization, feeding the product into the truck, and loading the product into the trailers. In the solutions that we've implemented, one unique advantage that our solution provides is the ability to have the robot not only palletize the product, but also do a secondary sort. So we do a primary sort with a traditional shoe sorter to up to five robots. And then from there, the robots will further sort out to up to 43 palletizing locations and palletize the product at the same time. Another solution that our customers are continuing to ask us for are robotic buffering systems. So product typically will enter the robotic cell and the robot will store it in a radial pattern around the robot in racking. And then when either the appropriate quantity of cartons or totes have been accumulated, in the robot's buffer, it will dispense them out for automatic palletization, or if the outbound trailer requires a, a particular sequence of totes to be delivered in, the robot will wait till it has all the appropriate totes and then sequence them out into the trailer. Another solution we're seeing a great amount of demand for is automated depalletization. And this video shows an artificial intelligence system from Boston Dynamics that allows us to depalletize completely mixed pallets or homogenous pallets. So pallets of just one SKU, it doesn't matter, this system can handle it. Another important feature about this vision system is it requires no training 
to handle the various cases that may be on the pallet. Typical applications for this in a warehouse would be to depalletize either a homogenous load to put onto a shipping sorter, or it could be depalletization of a mixed pallet that an operator picked on a pick path to also induct it into a shipping sorter. Goods to person technologies aren't necessarily an emerging technology anymore. They're, they're quite mature, but they're continuously improving. And what I really wanted to do was lead this into the next slide for a true emerging technology, which is robotic bin picking. Each picking in warehouses has long been a problem for automation due to the complexity of product that a robot would be expected to handle and increased capabilities in artificial intelligence-based vision systems from companies like Covariant have opened up the door for us to implement robotic bin picking solutions at an auto store picking port or a adapto picking port. It doesn't matter. The systems are agnostic to the type of goods to person system that we can implement these at. These systems use artificial intelligence to quickly adapt to the ever-changing product geometries, uh, packaging types, graphics, so that they can automatically be handled in, a, in an autonomous fashion in your warehouse. This video is a demonstration of Covariance technology, and they provide the Covariant Brain, which is the artificial intelligence platform that drives the vision system that communicates to the robot how to pick these individual objects out of the bin. Here they're performing a demonstration where they are handling a wide variety of products in an automated fashion. This demonstration just further proves how far this technology has come and how it can be applied into goods to person, or should I say goods to robotic solutions. The complexity of products that are typically handled in a distribution center has been the main reason why robots are more, not more prominent inside distribution centers. Robots need a high level of consistency from cycle to cycle to ensure a high level of uptime. And that complexity of the various products that are in distribution centers prohibit that. But that's where artificial intelligence-based vision comes into play. It helps the, the robot automatically know how to handle individual cases or individual eaches out of a bin based on the learning that that robot and many other robots running the same operation. With artificial intelligence, the vision system is capable of handling really anything in your warehouse as long as the end of arm tooling is able to handle that product as well. So it's our job to make sure that the end of arm tooling is designed in such a way to give us the widest range of products that we can handle. I talked a little bit about consistency of products to be handled and how that drives the reliability and the uptime of a robotic installation. Um, and this, this chart just further illustrates that. And this is specifically aimed at robotic bin picking or other artificial intelligence based vision system uh, solutions. So if you have a solution that's only 90% effective, you typically have to have a person tend that robotic cell to ensure that it operates efficiently, which really is a suboptimal solution. If you can get that efficiency up to 99%. Now that one person could theoretically tend to five or six different robotic cells, which greatly enhances the return on our customer's investment. And then when you get up in the higher 99.9% .9 efficiency or, or reliability, that's when the argument for robotics becomes extremely strong and the justification is great. In terms of commercial trends, flexibility is becoming the name of the game. Historically, capital expenditures have dominated um, the market. However, we're seeing an increased trend into robots as a service, which means that you pay for the robot cell as you use it. And what that means is it holds the system integrator responsible for continuing a very high performance level of the robotic system indefinitely. Alternatively to robotics as a service, obviously capital expenditures are still very, very common, but we're seeing a growing trend to at least a blend of the two based on the level of software that's involved in the solution. Robots help customers meet their KPIs and meet their customer demands. They're very accurate, they have a high uptime and help with order fulfillment. 
A robot improves the order fulfillment process by increasing order accuracy, reducing order cycle time to shipment, and achieving on-time delivery. This automation improves the productivity of the workstation and provides consistent labor to maintain throughput during average and peak seasons. Robotics is truly the future of distribution and e-commerce. We will now open it up to questions that you may have. Please type into the chat and we'll answer them as soon as possible. On behalf of Bastion Solutions, thank you for joining the seminar today. We truly appreciate your time and we hope you enjoy the rest of the Promat DX show.